Coming up on JPL Express, we go to Doma, where we will bring you an exclusive look in at the magic being created by Yahya Mohammed and Adriana Stars. We go heavy on midweek football as we explore everything you need to know. Plus, there is that top attraction of Thursday night football as we build up to the Hats and Ash Gold game top liner. So this is Doma Ahinko, a peasant farming town in the Buno region, located 15 kilometers from the Ghana Ivory Coast border. On the shoulders of this district capital lies a deep love for football that connects a region with so much history to its name. In this special feature, we have come here to explore the region's obsession with football. Ediana Stars traditionally represent the lifeblood of football here in Doma. Over the years, they have built an enviable reputation, one that ensures they have stayed a favorite of the people here. So behind me here is the Nana Ajmanbedu, the first park here in Doma. It plays host to the home side, Ediana Stars, who have consistently given a good account of themselves in domestic football, as well as continental. Ediana has so far waged a successful Premier League campaign, aided by the solid goal-scoring machine called Yahaya Mohamed. He has been talking to us on club, longevity and personal legacy. All the Christmas I was here working very hard because I know what I'm looking for in the future. And uh, people say I'm aging, but me, I don't care about the age. Because uh, fine, you, you cannot cheat nature, but with very hard work, you can gather your stamina, you have a good body, but how much I put towards it, I would say it's, I cannot say much about that, but I've worked very, very hard about it. My personal training as well as the coaches. So I'll give thanks to God that there is no injury, no frustration. In what has so far been a consistent performance, Yahya has built on a solid resilience to win the hearts of the fans here. It has taken a lot of hard work to achieve his current fine form, never one to give in to criticisms. He squashes claims he is a spent force and one only good at home. Yeah, I didn't put my mind there because if you try to think about it, you will discourage yourself because somebody is there telling you you are aging and the league is going on and who is leading the working for now? It's Yaya Mohamed, the, uh, the old lady. So I don't put my mind there to frustrate myself. I just work on the field of play to prove you wrong. But there is a saying in Akan that uh, so the league is ongoing. Let's see what happens in the future. Every goal is a goal. Whether I'm playing home and away, is a goal. And moreover, you are leading the goal case. So when you go away, you don't have it like you're having at home. So it's normal, they will say I'm scoring only home, but I started for goal, definitely I'll go outside. This season has seen Yahya become the poster boy he's always wanted to. Getting the goals in for Adriana come with pecs that ensure he not only gets to enjoy appreciation with Doma, but national acclaim. Ever ready to contribute to the beauty of the Ghana Premier League, he is hopeful that it can get better as compared to others within the sub region. In terms of about their salaries, their bonuses, and how they take care, welfare about the player and how they will strike the player towards the match, before, after, a lot. And even the pitch, the facilities that they have, it's, 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 it's exciting. You love to play outside, every player. But I know Africa is different from them. So definitely, gradually, we have started, we have a new president. If we cannot catch up, we may do something better. It's very difficult playing in Ghana Premier League because uh, as you know Ghana we have a lot of talent here in Ghana. Everybody know when you have the ball, everybody know what is going to do with the ball and uh, how much I want to go up is we have so many targets. Now Blaster is there, professional contract is there, also I want to achieve my goal game so it's very very tough for me but I know I'll maybe achieve it before the league uh, ends. 
for what he's consistently set out to achieve, there is an overreaching resolve to do more, even for self and club. That is possible thanks to the progressive Indiana establishment and a strong support from his teammates. From number one to number 11, everybody is doing well. Without them, I cannot score, I cannot play alone. But if I said I will give credit to number one, Evisopoku, if I mention names, I will be maybe somebody will say I'm rude or something like that. I have friends that are mentioning names. So it's a teamwork. We work as a team. So I'll give credit to them. Because without them, I cannot get that goal. I cannot play alone. So we go as a team. Still keeping sights on winning the goal king as well as the league. He is hopeful they are within reach. Made a strong meeting, the playing body alone, that we want to achieve something. Remember, I've won the Ghana Premier League before, but another player has not won. So what do I have to do? I have to help that player to win, to achieve. So we want to win it. And remember, they have an festival here, and Osage for Ajmabedu was 20 years anniversary. So we are in 2020, so we just want to do something different. 20th anniversary and 2020, you know, it's going to be very, very, very nice when you present the cup to him and you give the cup 2020 for Nana. I want to win the gold king. And if I want to win the gold king, I'm oh. not just winning it. I'm just, I want right. to win it with a normal goal that you can score 17, 15 goals to win a gold king. So if I score 20 and above, it will be a record. So definitely that will go will come, but I'm going to win the goal king. You cannot do your win and pray to God to give you goals. You have to work before you pray. So the hard work is more than the prayers because I cannot waste my time to pray and I will tell God to give me goals whilst I'm not working hard. You have to work hard and you pray God will definitely bless you with everything that you need. Yahaya's exploits at Ediana has one man behind all the engineering. Coach Tando has built a side that remains talk of town week after week. He tells me it comes down to hard work and a blend of experience and youth. What I've always put in into the mind of the players is hard work, teamwork and esprit de corps. Now, Adriana, for years, have always bought qualified players, experienced players. But for this season, Adriana has accepted to move a little bit of their philosophy, to blend the team. We have young talents from Division 1, Division 2, some from nowhere. And we are blending them and with the hard work and that esprit de corps, they are understanding themselves and we are getting on work. The challenges that these people have gone through, like Elvis, like uh, Akwaku, who is the oldest player, the general captain, he's been with the team from Division 1 till now. So he's been with the team for over uh, 15 to 18 years. So with those vast experience uh, coming on board with these young ones, they share it. Sometimes we ask them to coach uh, the boys on the field and that is helping me very, very well. He is confident all of that will get them to stage a strong claim for the league title. Adriana is the defending champions and we are focused that in the next 20th anniversary on the throne, we are 10 years over as a, 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 league, a, a, a team in the league a club in Ghana. And we are defending. And our aim is to defend. The young chaps that we are blending with the old folks, with experienced players, they are also mentoring them that their focus is to defend and to make Nana's uh, 20th anniversary on the throne and her mother uh, throne on the seat to be successful by giving them back the trophy as defending champions and taking the young child to Africa. I am optimistic. It's my darling, my heart, to win the trophy for Adriana from my predecessor. May his soul rest in peace, uh, Coach Yusuf Abakar, who have been uh, schoolmates, uh, I've mentored him all along, and they've encouraged me. He, Coach Zito, they've made me come this far. And if it's not there, the achievement that Coach Yusuf Abakar has achieved, I'm going to make it in Ebiana. And I'm taking Ebiana to the next level. Tando speaks highly of Yahaya for all the right reasons, 
that locals and teammates say is tied to the unique relationship he enjoys with the players. I pick a lot of advice from him. His vast experience in Ghana Premier League is bringing a good toll on the young chaps. We speak off the pitch and he's doing a lot. He goes to these young uh, strikers and they listen to him and I see exactly. Uh, Yaya is a superb uh, striker for us. We love Yaya. He has helped the team so much. So sometimes we have to play to his pattern so that he can score for us. The club's dominance is also led by a lot of drive, mostly attended to by players who have seen it all. In the team's fold is captain Elvis Opoku, who has considerable experience. Uh, first of all, I would say unity and the cohesion too is there. That's why uh, we've started winning our matches. We've done a lot of work because we, uh, we find the new players also to blend uh, to the old players. So right now, uh, we are massively working so that we can achieve our aim. And our motive is to win the league and to win every cup that is in Ghana right now, apart from the league, FA Cup 2 is there. So our motive is to win uh, the two trophies. So right now, it's for us to focus 100%. It's more than 100% because we are now coming to play the difficult teams as compared to what we've played right now. So uh, not to lose focus, we have to be 100% uh, focused so that we can achieve our aim. Elvis believes the team has the wherewithal to keep the momentum going if they stick to plan. It's early days yet for us to say we can keep the momentum. In life, it's up, up, up and down. So right now, we are some, somehow enjoying it uh, because we've lost uh, just a match. So we can say we are somehow enjoying it. So we have to stay focused, as we said, so that we can win the league this year. Joseph Addo. One of the oldest players in the Indiana setup maintains that the team's wheel of fortune is kept busy because of the willingness to do more. For as a player, anchor will last is with team. The person may end in a year. To me, my target is the person may do team. No, we win a year. I will have so if say me free her, I will get good mark. I will have because the bar no, we do team not the league. I do. I have almost about four cups, and I four cups my so I think it's enough to be free to have a mark for some years. I remember my mom said, I have a father and a father in the team. I still have a medicine in the before I'm free, I have a medicine in the better position. I have a free to have a new father and a father in the team. I have a better position in the team. Adiana's consistency is fueled by a growing following who have almost become religious. No mind to have football, I to sell the village, and I said, Oh, no, I had the IP. The dear who are football, so. Oh, dear. Yamboa at the chair, Yabobi, Samubesha, Domaha, Yaboa, Bono, say a bonus, a Diana Bodro, Crowd, a set of supporters, no, Yana Yamaka, is it here? But here, when the swa, who has said a Yamaka, is it here? The football, the Eba Domain, Korea, Yanit football, we are. For Diana, dear, you support your Sabinisha, near and cry. So I can cry, cry, first cry, no one man was say, never buy a baby, my neighbor, Diana, as he's saying, I did, she saw her Diana Stasa. It's my dear Rashim. Ashimpanti <laughs> Into odu ba biya obo adiana unse doma adiana na wohi adoma inti ama yedinu kosoro inti ama adiana na di edaya kumaso ya bo drop kwa di di kwa yedene.
Welcome back to GPL Express here on TV3. Now, Midweek Football saw a lot of fireworks displayed in Sogakope as Kotoko and Wafa met in an encounter that had a lot to its name. Academy has not been sold to William Opokuma says late equalizer. So maybe making three chances is ruled out and his place is taken. It's where and where Felix Anand gets his place. There we go, Samina, all of them with great heights in the box of Kotoko. There the cross goes. That was dangerous and it was always going to trouble Kwame Ba. Coming through. Very nice killing of the ball. But into an area where a goalkeeper we expected. Here is Imano Jemfi for Kotoko deep in the box. He sends a shot across after Bilson. No problems at all for the Wafa shot stopper. And here you see Jemfi here. I'm surprised he's taking the ball to that direction because he could have easily opened his body to receive that ball on his favorite right foot. And this can be dangerous! Augustin Boachi has got all the opportunity to square this ball now for the number seven shirted man. As many Eric. Adum Noswan onto the part of Atta. Hits the back of the net. But the flag was up. Ankwa has his collision interest. What a shot from Atta Yusufu, but it goes wayward. Off target. Moro Ibrahim. Kevin Matthew Ando, unable to go past three Wafa players. Good track back from. There it is again there. There's contact, isn't there? Difficult to see from there, but there again we have an opportunity for Snamanko coming in for that one. There. For Asante Kotoko, here is Wafa. Lovely back you. Kwame Ba would not be beaten by Prosper Yabu's drop. Judgment of the flight there by Habib. I mean, he saw the ball all the way, kept backtracking. Emmanuel Jeffy netted to his right. Can he send a decent crossing? Hangs on. Goes for the grounder. Cleared away eventually by. Here is Rachel Danso. He goes past Christopher Nete. Tries a shot from a distance. Near miss. And that's what he brings into this game. His ability to deliver able to sprint past his markers with cheeky ease, Richard Danso. That was close. That's what his game is all about, Richard Danso. So confident. He got the technique right. Just wasn't on target. Kotoko seems to have taken over the midfield at this stage. And there they go. Emmanuel Jemfi. He's got Pokemonsa in the center. Would they get a first goal? Good save, Prince Bilson. And that attempt from a direction he wanted, but you credit Prince Atu Bilson with that save. And that was a brilliant save, but the build-up was brilliant as well. Beautiful ball through to him and Ojebi from. Asumeni takes a whistle to his mouth, he blows it, and that's it. Referee Frederick Samina has whistled for the end of the game here in Soga Kope. We should have won, but it's not bad. A goalless game is not bad. I think it's better than losing. So, uh, we just commend the boys. They did well. Tactically, we did well. I can't say we are bad in scoring and I can't say we are very good in scoring. But at least, uh, apart from two or so matches, we've been scoring in every game. I think it's not bad. But just that, I think people wanted to see one player scoring four, five, six goals. But we, we are, you know, it's a collective thing. And uh, if the strikers are not scoring, midfielders are scoring, so be it. Yeah, we are worried about the injury situations, but uh, our medical team have promised us that uh, this week they will get a couple of them ready for the Dreams match. So we are looking up to them and see how uh, the players will come back. We had a better side. We've been created more chances. So the fact that we couldn't score and win doesn't make the team, I mean, not a good side. So I, I disagree to that assertion. I think they are a good side. They are very disciplined tactically. I mean, they are debutants. Most of them, this is their first time of playing. So I think with time, they, they will mature as the league unfolds and they, they, will, they will get the experience, I mean, to deliver as expected of them. So I disagree to your session that, I mean, this is the weakest Wafa side ever assembled. Not the results the home side expected. But it is clear how positive Wafa have been at home. They are gradually making their home a fortress through playing good football on the pitch and the fans also created the right atmosphere in the stands. The players also prepare for games creditably. Thierry Nyan visited Wafa Park 
and came through with his report. Okay, so we are inside Sugakope and as you can hear, the players of Wafa are getting themselves in the mood. This is exactly what the feeling is like every match day. Among the players, they attempt to get themselves in an electric mood just ahead of key Premier League games. Let's get inside and get the feeling. This is not a post-match celebration. Instead, it is how the players here prepare for key match days. They chant with joy, get their energy levels high, while ensuring team bonding. These lads are far away in Sugakope, lying in wait for stray prey. Wafa have recorded some very interesting results on their home turf, and their preparation for such days prove why. They train effectively and listen to tactics given out by their head coach. They also pray and shout for joy. They say this is a tradition that goes deep into their history. It has become a routine that we normally follow. It's a procedure that we normally follow. Let me put it this way. It's a tradition. Because the more we sing, the more it gives us some positive moral and positive energy towards the game. The Sugakope Bay side have proven themselves a fine top flight side. They have made their home ground a fortress and many clubs prefer to wish away the daunting fixture in the east. The atmosphere created here plays a great role in this. No wonder the results have been so good for this young Wafa side. Thierry reporting from Sugakope for TV3. They look so comfortable passing the ball calmly around their own area. So there's pressure from Atalok. A software penalty. Daniel Barnier Frie. Appeal for a penalty. Goalkeeper here, so casual at the back, it's so dangerous, but it's all about the pressing and the pressure from a Frie Bamier. Goalkeeper had nowhere to go, and this was so soft, it was never going to be a penalty. But Ashgold here, living dangerously, playing from the back in the way they were doing. Got something on him, man. I just, the Fabians will take advantage of that. Here is Daniel Efriye Banye. Up against Roland Kosidi Amuzi. Sends the cross in. Whoa! What a miss. Cut a little bit, but this is where the ball is coming from. Banye does well to get the ball to the ball like Getting across. But as the ball comes in here, goalkeeper does so well to get something on it. Donko are good with whippings because Wobenu is such a tall, a towering figure. And then Donko goes with a cross inside. Wobenu's header. Easy catch for goalkeeper. And Sass swings one in. Frank Watson goes up and loses the ball. Koji. Pata! Daniel Efria misses right in front of the target. But Bamiya was in a good area. Shocking that Obukas keeps passing. And the ball goes to the pass. Good save, goalkeeper Frank Watin. You can always trust Esso to post. He's got a whistle to his mouth. There he goes and blasts for the end of the first half here. Our Thursday night football. Lovely. Night football in Accra. The professionals and then Dreams FC. Nuru delays one for a free year. A free year! Goalkeeper wasn't the right option. So here, yeah, this is where they lose the point in midfield as good. Ball here, lovely play through by Nuruddin to a free year. He's in acres of space, takes one touch, just couldn't wrap his foot around the ball. You could see what he wanted to do. He wanted to curl the ball into the far post. In the end, doesn't get the curl on it. And some with a dink for a free year. There was a push with a calling for it as for a penalty. But that's intelligent play by Boche. But here it is. Latif just shakes him with a shoulder. Gets into his back a bit. And there you see Bami. Latifa Dyer's whistle. We were able to create enough chances in the game. From the blast of the whistle, we were doing our normal uh, high pressing. And we were creating the chances. 
So I, I don't know. I don't know what, what happened. When you play against Heart of Oaks, uh, so it's always a good result. We played away and we played draw, so we can uh, be happy. Yeah? I'm satisfied with the result. That's how we wrap up this week's edition of GPL Express here on TV3. This still remains your most authoritative reference on the Ghana Premier League. My name is Juliet Bewa. See you same time, same channel next week.